What is good, you guys? It is your girl, Serenity Soul Invictus. I'm thankful you're joining me today. Today, I've been thinking about something, and um, hmm, I said, hmm, let's just do a topic on that, well, shall we? And here's the topic. We're talking about shopping. As you know, I am now in the work world again. Yay! I need, like, fanfare. <laughs> and so naturally, as a woman, shopping comes to mind, and that's what made me do this topic today, because... We're going to talk about how we can actually shop like a rich girl while not spending that much, while living on a tight budget, you know. So rich girl versus poor girl shopping. This is going to be a part of an etiquette thing that I'm doing, an etiquette series. And I wanted the video to be a little shorter, so today we're going to go with that topic, shopping. How to shop like a rich girl but on a budget. So we know this day and age we're in is the time of consumerism at its best consumerism at its worst actually because everybody just wants so much more like nothing's never enough anymore like give me more more <laughs> and it's kind of crazy it's kind of absurd and we don't want to play into that too much because at the same time remember the topic I just did talking about attachments and how to become non-attached to these material things on this earth plane that's just a part of it but at the same time we live here we are we are this is our vessel right now and we want it to look as bougie as possible on a budget so this is why I'm gonna do this topic today <laughs> number one thing that is a problem the trend junkies when you actually think about it trends usually are cheap apparel trends most often don't suit everybody <laughs> that is a sad truth Trends have you spending over and repeatedly, like consistently spending, chasing that style that is not what you want to be a part of. A lot of times, like I said, the trends don't last very long. So if you can, it's good to like make, come up with your own trend, come up with your own style of fashion. Like you don't have to look like everybody else. You don't have to do what, you know, you see on TV, New York Fashion Week. You don't have to do that when you do it you become part of the whole consumerism matrix, in other words. But if you so choose, whatever you like, whatever floats your boat, go right after that. But think about it, just think about it, be more conscious about what you are falling for a lot of the times and what it represents. So a lot of the things, a lot of the things we see people do also are because of labels. Now where I work, I see a lot of like, nice style to see a lot of bags and like shoes and stuff like that kicks that i love i'm like mm, those boots are like life okay however a lot of the things you see are also name brand so where you have to be careful is not becoming a label whore yes a label whore that is that is a person who is now validated by a brand name on their purse like everybody loves Michael Kors bags they're nice they're lovely they're beautiful however you know it's not about the beauty anymore because you want to see Michael Kors on that bag that is the essence of a label whore usually label whores have low self-esteem <laughs> they may not believe that but if you actually dig a little deeper into their psyche you realize that they are not as confident without the labels you strip them of the labels, you strip them of the MAC makeup, you strip them of the Remy, you strip them of the Michael Kors, you strip them of the David Yearman, you strip them of it all, all the names, and you reduce them to nothing. <laughs> that is not what we want to be as conscious, you know, beings, being human. We don't want to be that. However, like I said, whatever floats your boat, you know, because if somebody gave me a Michael Kors bag, you're damn sure I'm going to wear it, okay? <laughs> Hello. But I don't need that bag to make me feel worthy or valuable or special or important. Get what I'm saying? So now, a lot of the times, those things are to soothe their ego, to inflate it just a little bit. Like, look what I have. You don't have it. Like, ugh. So forget about all of that sometimes. Just keep it simple, but classy, sophisticated, stylish, you know? And nothing beats confidence when it comes to style, when it comes to 
looking like you are a million bucks. Confidence. That is the biggest trend you can wear and that never goes out of style. Retail, retail, retail therapy. <laughs> oh, I remember those days. I used to actually consider like I needed retail therapy. You had to go shop, you had to buy something. And that something usually was like something you really didn't need, but it, it felt good at the time. And a lot of the things we get Look at things, for instance, as sales, such as sales. Sales sales to me are sometimes somewhat of a trap because when you go in and you say, oh, what, 25% off? It's like, give me all. <laughs> when you only needed like a black tights to wear under a dress, you only went in there looking for like, you know, a, a white shirt with a collar. You come out with like, Two bags because they were on sale you you just got duped that's the that's the psych of consumerism the gimmicks the, the the duping okay be careful of those things and go in with a fixed mindset your consciousness is everything all right all is mind <laughs> even at the retail shops the retail stores the, the department stores whatever Another thing is credit. Be careful when you're shopping. This is why I love the fact that debit cards are more prominent now than credit cards are because credit is bad. Credit is bad. Credit is bad. Okay? Do not fall prey to the card machine. <laughs> At least you know if you come out with a certain amount of cash, you're going to stick to what it is that you intended to buy. You're not going to go away, of course, and go to the sales section and just like grab stuff like one in every color because it's on sale. You're going to stick, stay focused and stick to what you intended to get. So do not come out shopping with a poor state of mind. Come out with wealth consciousness when you go to shopping. Just like if you're going to the grocery store. They say don't go to the grocery store hungry. Okay, you're going to buy a bunch of crud that you don't need. Go to the grocery store at least with something on your stomach. <laughs> this is the way you can hold up yourself and say, no, I don't want that. You know, for what? Why am I going to buy two liters soda? Like, I don't drink sodas. But if you're starving, if you're like exhausted all day, fatigued, and you drag yourself to the store, store hungry, you're going to be like, okay, that cold soda looks really good. Give me two of them. Like, you know, that's, that's the, the mentality you have to develop in this world so shopping is no different don't go in a poor state of mind go like the wealthy do when they go shop nobody can force nothing on them that they did not come there to buy okay <laughs> that's how the wealthy think the wealthy don't go out like just like looking for sales and <laughs> no darling they would not be wealthy if they did that so remember think wealth wealth consciousness when you go to shop Another thing, another point is like knowing, knowing sometimes what a sale is for helps. It helps greatly because if you go out, oh, sorry guys, you go out with that intention. Like if they're having a sale on patio furniture or something like that, you know that this is what you were going to buy anyway for a month now. So you're like, okay, wow, they have that back chair, that, that, that deck, um, umbrella or whatever patio set for whatever price you say okay well that is 50 percent lower than what i was going to spend so let's go check out that sale understanding what sales are for doing your due diligence and research looking through the newspapers you want to see what's going on now that things are online you can see the sales right on the internet you can go to their facebook page or whatever page their instagram and see what's happening and what you need most it's, it's very important. It's, it's, people just are lazy a lot of the time, so take the lazy mentality and throw that away. It's time for you to start doing the work, putting in the work. Um, you don't need everything. When in doubt, another point is when in doubt, the rich also walk away. They know how to walk away. So become like that consciously speaking. When in doubt, do not be forced with one decision. When in doubt, walk away, sleep on it, 
I did a video on that topic and I think you should check it out. I'll try to remember to put it in the link. I mean, in the description below, put a link to it. Um, but if I don't, check it out, remind me, but I'll try to remember and do it myself. Um, yeah, when in doubt, walk away. Nobody's going to force you. Nobody's going to hurt you if you don't buy that right now. Like, <laughs> if you have to think twice about something, that's something you don't want or need. So walk away. And if it comes back to you that, hmm, I should have gotten that, like, you know, perhaps then it's the right choice. Um, seasonal shopping is another thing. Like, you can't, you can't expect to go shopping for swimsuits, say for instance, in the summertime. It's gonna be super expensive. A lot of the times you're not gonna find the selections that you want because they're sold out. And so spring and summer, generally speaking, you wanna shop for those types of things when they're off, off season. Um, and prices won't be hiked then because nobody's buying them right now. So think smarter, shop smarter. Another and last point is buying quality, quality items over, you know, discounted cheap items. And some people choose to say inexpensive. I'm going to say cheap because some things really are cheap. There's a saying that good things aren't cheap, cheap things aren't good. Now, I don't know if it's 100% true, but at the same time, what I've seen is pretty close what's the point of paying 50% off of something if it's gonna fall apart by tomorrow okay then you're crying about something that you had to pay 50% more for but it's gonna last you for 10 years see the sense in that see the difference you have to understand the pros and the cons quality over quantity you also have to remember to take care of the items that you have purchased or that you've um, obtained you have to take care of things because that also makes no sense because you're going to still be spending the same amount as if you were just thrift shopping frivolously without a care in the world. You want the things to last and that's the purpose of purchasing good quality items. That's how the rich shop. And this is, this guys, this goes on, this can go for the rest of your life using these strategies and these tips and, and how when you go out and venture into the world, into the world of consumerism, how to make it, how to survive all the shark tank, okay, out there. They want your cash, right? That's what they want. And your credit if you're going to put it on the table. So think smart, guys, and that is, what did I just say just now, guys? That is the end of today's topic. I'm Audi. Like I said, I've got work to do, and I'm so thankful you guys joined me today. Do hit like and do subscribe to my channel. Remember that ding dong bell that's right on the side of it and that's to notify you when I'm back. You know the rest. Peace and love guys, blessed be. I hope you employ some of these tips in your everyday shopping life. And don't forget to feedback, comment below um, on how you found ways or tips and other things for other readers and other watchers to actually see wise up to this kind of stuff like <laughs> we don't have to be victims in this all right we have to think confidently we have to teach others when we learn how this thing works so guys like i said peace and love until i'm back with another great topic blessed be and namaste bye you also have to remember to take care of the items that you have purchased or that you've um, obtained. You have to take care of things because that also makes no sense because you're gonna still be spending the same amount as if you were just thrift shopping frivolously without a care in the world. You want the things to last and that's the purpose of purchasing good quality items.